Hey, welcome back to the program of Mildly Familiar. Still messing with the angles here, so you know this is a professional show. And uh, yeah, today we are going to be talking to Mr. Knockout Wolf himself. That's right, that's Brody, a.k.a. Brody Can't Skate, a.k.a. Knockout Wolf. He is a very, very cool guy. We met through a Discord. Uh, same Discord I met Amanda, by the way. And yeah, uh, I'm excited to talk to him because he's a content creator, he's an editor, and he's a musician. And I think he's today's rising star on YouTube. So let's get a little more familiar with Mr. Knockout Wolf. So let's get a little more familiar with Knockout Wolf. That's the, that's the one I'm going to use. I'm not going to use the one where I'm goofy because nobody likes the goofy one. Uh, roll the theme song. You ever been to a party where everything is going swell? And you turn to somebody, say I'm gay, I hope you're well. And they say, ah. Okay, yeah, let's try it one more time. <laughs> one, two, three. We're, we're uh, we'll, almost we'll get it. We'll get we'll it. We'll get it's it. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> fine. It's fine. Forget <laughs> about it. Forget about it. Hey. That's a pretty good New York accent. Hey, I'm walking here. Hey, I'm walking. <laughs> please give me a break. <laughs> hey, the space in between of me, please allow me to move there instead of you. Allow me to assert my path, and then you can go on your own path, good sir, for <laughs> I am trailing my foot. I don't know if I like the phrase, assert your path, in all honesty. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something that like, a shitty guru would say, like, you need, you to, need assert to assert your, your path, path if, if you, you want to find, find your way. way. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Mildly Familiar. Today with me is my friend Brody, a.k.a. Knockout Wolf, a.k.a. Brody Can't Skate. And today I am mildly familiar with him. Welcome to the program, Brody. Okay, what do you mean mildly familiar? We've known each other for 25 years. Just, 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 just like, just, 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 just like, stop. Just like, it's it's part of the show. Our kids go to school together, Gage. It's Actually, yeah, that's one of the questions I have for you. You're you're a little younger than me, right? <laughs> Why do my kids go to school? <laughs> where where do your kids go to school? Like, what's the specific kids. address? <laughs> yeah. So you're a little younger than me, correct? A little bit, yeah, I believe. I believe. I mean, what, you're, you're 30, 39? Uh, yeah, around there. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I I wanted to ask like how did how did you um get acquainted with like editing because you're known for editing um bigger channels you've done uh, Boy in a Band Elvis the Alien uh, one more that I'm forgetting yeah um I do the Amazing as well he's another animator um, I say another animator sorry uh, sometimes I do stuff for him and then I help out a little bit with um, the other ones out who he's good friends with as well. So yeah, when did you get into editing and uh, what what kind of style do you prefer? What what do you say your say your editing style is? <laughs> I kind of hate my editing style sometimes because you know when you watch you know when you upload something to YouTube and you're like that's great on the day and then you watch it like two days later like why did I do that? Why did I upload this? It's not even two days for me. It's like. <laughs> Like like a few it's hours. It's the next and like, hour. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh well, this is shit. A little, little bit of a, a side trap before I actually answer the question. Like, but when I used to upload, I'm getting loads of time hops uh, from like three years ago when I used to upload to I don't know like twenty or thirty regular viewers on YouTube, and I would I would stress to make sure the video got finished that night, whereas none of the people cared whether or not it was uploaded that night, and there'd be editing mistakes in there, and I'd watch it back, and I'd be like, oh no, I'm gonna have to delete it and re-edit it and do that. One thing I'm gonna say is just don't rush an edit. I'm sure I'm sure they're not gonna lose sleep over it unless it's a gauge your interest. Then that's a different. Oh matter. God, <laughs> I forgot about gauge your interest. <laughs> oh no, we need to stop this and do a gauge your interest right now. <laughs> Sorry, Brody. I I do a lot of sort of like snappy quick editing. Um, I I don't like I don't like the idea of um if something's not funny, just do a zoom in so it looks funny. You know, a little bit funnier. Um, but I. I don't like a video having the same shot, like a jump cut, you know, where someone will be here and it's suddenly there um, on the same sort of um, angle and things like that for, for too long. I like each I like uh, I like each clip to be a bit like a beat, I guess. 
so you know they say one thing and then they move on to another and it may be a bit more zoomed in here or it'll be um yeah, half the screen will be the person talking and then uh, the, the thing on the other side um uh, a good example of that would be uh elvis the aliens tinder troll in four which just came out that, that's one where i sort of like i don't like it being the same thing over and over so that does it's quite time consuming but i think it pays off it's i think it's a lot more visually interesting and I like throwing a few visual gags in there every now and then. Now, um, I'm sure you'll probably uh, grill me about this later, but I'm not very good with things like After Effects. Uh, I, I more stick to Premiere. And I'm Pro not and, good um, with After Effects either, no. man. I don't, think, I don't think a whole lot of people are. <laughs> if they're on YouTube and they're good with After Effects, it just means they got too much free time on their hands. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of know it, dare I say, mildly familiar with it. He said it. But I usually don't tamper with it. I, I said it, said it, said it. Put that down. <laughs> We did it, everybody. We can end the interview. That's it. We got him. By the way, pause right here. Uh, could you close the curtain a little bit more? Is that possible? That's possible. Okay. Re resume interview. Brody has shut his curtain. That was bugging me a, a <laughs> lot. But he was on He was on a good roll talking about editing and choppy clips. and it, He did it again. He did it again. <laughs> what can I say? I was just checking it was still daylight out there. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, because, you know, daylight kind of goes away sometimes. sometimes. That's called night. <laughs> I think, I think, yeah, that rings a bell. <laughs> I see it sometimes. Uh, so, yeah, we were talking about your editing style. When did you start editing, and in what program? <laughs> um, God, uh, I, used to, I had an interest in it when I was really young, and I had various YouTube channels when I was, like, I don't know, like nine years old. Which is kind of crazy. Link so, like, to that will be in YouTube. description down below. Yeah, I know. No, no. <laughs> You'll be doing like a deep dive. Like, I'm going to see if I can find any dirt on him. Um, I, it was like sort of earlier days of YouTube when it, it was people like Smosh uh, who were quite big then. And um, I used to just like the idea of, of filming skits. But I, I had a few friends who liked doing them. Uh, but, oh, man, they were so bad. They were so bad. And, like, if I, if I could go back and see myself filming them i would just you know that video like is i think it's called the slap where it's, it's the guy the australian guy going around the barbecue and slapping all the kids and everybody yeah going, you can't yeah slap that was kid. a parody of like a like a primetime special where it's like you're not supposed to slap children oh. and we're like <laughs> yeah we know that yeah i'm pretty, pretty well. sure we're not supposed to hit those guys well, well, that's that's pretty much what I'd be like to 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 me when I used to make this video. I'd, I'd come out like, that's not good, that's bad. Um, but I used to uh, film them on this like real bad little digital camera like that big, which mm -hmm. I still. If you if you go back on my uh, my YouTube channel now, some of my first videos were still filmed on that, like eight years later or so. Just the web, the face cam, so it's like the grainiest, my horrible thing ever. Um, don't do that, please. I'm just talking from experience. Don't. Uh, and. I used to use that and then chuck it into Windows Movie Maker, the OG. Hell yeah! Uh, you know, and um, I used to I used to find things like you know where you would have uh, uh, you'd get a, a third party plugin thing and you chuck it on and you could split the screen in half, which is like the easiest thing to do in Premiere. Now that takes you like. 30 seconds yeah, to get two clips. Yeah, but back then you're on top of the world. If you did like a Star Iris, you're like, oh my god, yeah. I'm basically Scorsese. <laughs> For real, and there'd be so there'd be two of you say, um, say like the, the other person's there because I mean if if you're playing like two of yourself, you're the same height and everything. Right, right. So say my head is here because that, that that that's that's where my head would be if I was sat over there and I had the screen split in half. Well, um, you know it'd just be this side of the camera. I'd be talking to myself down there, and then the other one would interrupt, interrupt what, what I'm saying. saying. And, to, and I thought it was, I still thought it was music, um, movie magic. I really did. <laughs> music to my ears. <laughs> yes. And movie to no one. <laughs> I, I had a few, I had like five subs maybe. Oh, I still have five subs. It's it's cool. At least. <laughs> <laughs> who, care, who cares about that shit? Uh, well, besides everyone on YouTube, of course. Yeah, yeah. That's where the money's at. So yeah, when did you start editing like professionally? Um, I, I don't know if professionally. Not professionally, would be the word. <laughs> but like, um, when did you take your editing to the next level, like to Premiere, I should say? So, um, well, for years I was using uh, Sony Vegas. So when I started with, I think I think probably around like 2014, and I was in high school still, and um, I, I, I like our schools are a bit different over here. Uh, I believe high school for you runs up to 18. Am I right? Yes, 18, yeah. around well, 14 to 18. 14, okay. Well, high school for us is um, 11 till 16. 
So I was near the end of that, and like I was like 15 okay. ish or whatever. And uh, I decided, well, this is the most important year of, of my, my entire time at school where I got to study for all these exams and everything like that, and then it'll take me on to what I want to do in college. And I just decided to make a YouTube channel instead and spend all my free time just making really bad commentary videos on like Call of Duty Zombies and just various different games and things like that uh, in, instead of actually studying. And um, I, I would have like a face cap. No, actually, before I had the face cam, I didn't have anything. So it would just be gameplay and I'd just be chopping it up. And it's only Vegas. That's like the easiest thing you can do. And then uh, my channel got taken down by some someone reporting it. And then uh, that's how YouTube works. One person makes a few accounts. You can you can take an account down. So uh, you better not Ooh, step on any work. toes, Gage. Cut that part out. Cut yeah. that part out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, don't get any ideas. <laughs> um and then I was like, you know, I'm going to do something special. And I added a face cam. And then I was like, I, I, I was, I thought I was just this ed- editing guru, just getting all the face cam here and then like a little border around it. Oh my God, it's crazy. Um, and I even tried to do all the zoom ins and stuff then, but it just wasn't as sleek and stuff. It was, it was a little bit, a little bit corny. And, um, and then in, I started college. Um, so I did two years of college when I was doing that. And I started like a, a higher education course at uni. Uh, well, I call it at a college still, but it's like a uni course where I had to start learning how to use Logic Pro, the uh, the music, the the door, and also to... Logic, the basis of you know ethics. Yeah, and Logic, the rapper. He's a rapper, right? I don't know. I don't. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. Um, <laughs> so I had to start learning how to use Logic when I've been using Pro Tools for a couple of years. Uh, and I was like, oh, it's just really confusing. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I really need to concentrate on making sure I know how to how uh, uh, this program works. And I just repeated history again and decided I was going to distract myself by downloading Premiere Pro and teaching myself that instead. So I just have, <laughs> I have a thing for ignoring education and just moving on to something I shouldn't be doing instead. Well, yeah, the education system over here does the same thing. I'm sorry to cut you off. Um... But yeah, college college does the same thing. It's like, hey, I know everyone's been editing with Premiere and everyone's having a great time with it, but we're going to pick this program because that's what all the professionals are <laughs> using. And we're like, well, it's not accessible, and uh, it's not as accessible, and it's more like a transition between film and digital. It's sort uh, of like a great middle ground. I'm talking about Avid, by the way. If uh, okay, uh, right. yeah, if for any editing gurus out there. But yeah, Avid, uh, I think, is a nice little transition between film and digital. But I think people like us, people growing up with like Premiere and Final Cut and Vegas, uh, we're a little more uh, familiar with the digital thing. So, yeah. Some may say mildly familiar. Fuck you. You can't say that. It's my line. <laughs> it's my line now. This is my show. <laughs> Give me the login. Oh, no. I could have sworn I saw you in the intro. I was going to say, I thought it'd be one of those things where they're like, I know everybody's enjoying Premiere Pro, but uh, and uh, most of you are running Windows PCs, but have you heard of a little thing called Final Cut Pro? Yeah, Final Cut was pretty good for a while. Yeah, I know. I mean, like, Danny Gonzalez still uses the Final Cut. Because when he was oh, looking for... There's this oh. name that you dropped right here. here you Danny. Go. I know, oh, name drop. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Gage. It just went right <laughs> over. <laughs> I was like, "What? I don't know. I don't know, Danny. I don't know, Danny." But um, he he was like, um, he posted a thing up for an editor like last year. Uh, one of them was um, one one of the things was that you had to live in the area, which I was like, ah, "Damn it, damn it, what would have been there?" And uh, but the other one was uh, that you had to be fluent with Final Cut Pro, which just I just thought everybody was on Premiere these days, but I guess not. Mm-hmm. I mean, some of my uh, some of my shortcuts in Premiere are based off of Final Cut because I learned Premiere and then I was going to learn Final Cut and then Final Cut X came out, which kind of bombed the whole program. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm like, shoot, well, I'm familiar with all the shortcuts. I'll just go back to Premiere and do the shortcuts and Final Cut there. Yeah, I think my, my zoom in and zoom outs are control and square brackets, which I think that's a logic thing. So that's the problem with trying mm-hmm. to learn how to use different like digi- or, uh, digital audio workshops and um, video editing programs at the same time is that I started picking up the, the, the keyboard shortcuts for them. And so now every time I have to refresh my Premiere to like just the basics because it's being buggy or whatever, I'll, I'll have to make this whole list. And I'll, I'll try to be doing stuff. And I'm like, why is that not working? And I realized because that's not the actual shortcut. But I guess a lot <laughs> of editors get stuck in their ways with things like that. That's true. There's a whole preset 
on um, Premiere about Final Final Cut 7 shortcuts. You can just put that in and say, hey, oh, this okay, is what cool. I want to use. I guess I missed off that story that um, when I when I started learning uh, Premiere, I realized you say Premiere, and that's probably the right way Premier, to say it. Yeah. From is, is, uh, is Adobe an American? I think it's one of those things where it's like vitamins and vitamins. What, what's the element? What's the element that, that we pronounce really differently? God, I'm trying to think. Uh... Let me just start listing off elements. I yeah. guess <laughs> oxygen, hydrogen, carbon dioxide. We'll get that. We'll we'll get the periodic table. Of, if I just pull my green screen down, and we can, you can put a periodic table down, and we can be like. Yeah, I'll, I'll just put like a little graphic there, <laughs> and I'll circle the one that <laughs> that yeah. we're forgetting. So when I I started learning Premiere, I was like, well, I need a fun video to to try and um to try and learn all the, the basics and things. And luckily, I was friends with uh, Nerd City at the time, someone that that I think I believe. We'll probably talk about that in Machine and Gage, how we met. But um, so so Gage, um, I, Nerd City is a mutual friend of me and Gage's, and um, I know he edited on on Premiere. So I was bugging him like every seven seconds, um, basically saying, "How do I do this? How do I do that?" But um, instead of actually looking at YouTube videos and things, I was like, "I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna learn it. I'm just gonna learn it by scratch." And um, I filmed this video uh, called Video Vault where I found some old videos from a YouTuber called Elvis the Alien, as previously mentioned, uh, from a channel he had before Elvis that not many Elvis fans seem to know about. It seemed to be uh, seemed to pretty, be pretty under the radar, uh, where I used to make all these skits and things. So I was like, I'm going to make a video just, just being like, yo, look what I found, and I'm not telling you the name. And uh, so I filmed that. It was kind of fun. I had like loads of VHSs everywhere, and I tried to make it have all these VHS kind of glitchy effects and stuff. And I had no idea how to do any of them. And I was just like, why not just be ambitious? Just jump in the deep end. And then I got, I must have spent like three weeks editing it. And uh, I uploaded it. And then Elvis saw it, uh, followed me and messaged me and stuff. And the rest is history. So basically- Yeah. And that's the origin of Brody slash Knockout Wolf slash Brody Can't Skate slash uh, too many you probably have another moniker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's a question I wanted to ask. Like, why do you have so many usernames? <laughs> um, okay, so uh, uh, Brody Can't Skate is one I had for, God, like, for years now, since I first started using Twitter. And um, I... I mainly got it just because I really wished I could skate when I was younger because I used to play loads of Tony Hawk games, uh, specifically Tony Hawk's Project 8 at the time. I was playing a lot of that. And I uh, I was just thinking of, of, of names and things, and I was like, you know what? I wish I could skate, but I'm too tall and gangly, and uh, I, I've, I've got terrible balance, and uh, it just it just stuck. Did it stick, though? I think Knockout Wolf stuck a little more. <laughs> well... It, it, it's stuck in a sense that every time I go in Amanda the Jedi stream, um, she goes, "Oh, hey Brody, hey, this is uh, this is Knockout Wolf who has a stupid name, and he goes by Brody Can't Skate on Twitter, which is a much better name." Every time, every time she roasts me, and she roasts me in front of all her viewers, the fact that yeah, she I roasted you la- when she was on here before. Shout out to Knockout Wolf out there. Hope you're d- dumb hope name. You're d- Change your name, Brody. Yeah, I, I don't like the name. <laughs> I don't like the name. I tell him this all the time. Even my mom. I asked my mom once. I was like, what do you think of this name? She was like, oh, no, I don't like that. And I'm like, what about Brody Can't Skate? She was like, that's cute. And I was like, <laughs> go with your Twitter name, man. Did she? I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I, 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 refu- yeah. I refuse to look at anything to do with her anymore because of that. Sorry, you're blacklisted by Brody, Amanda. Yeah. That's just the way Hollywood goes, baby. I mean, I was messaging her like half an hour ago. Like, how do I fix this thing in, in OBS? And... But other than that, you know, when, when, when I when I don't need her, don't talk to her. Yeah, it, yeah, you don't want to, like, have a good conversation with her. You don't want to, like, <laughs> no. get to know her as a person. You just no. want to use her for, like, you know, uh, strats to get up in the exactly. uh, YouTube and Twitch sphere. Exactly. Yeah. That's kind of what these friendships are all about. Um, it's using people and getting to know, uh, yeah, it, more... <laughs> Uh, influential people so you can build your YouTube channel and yeah. then forget about everyone who's helped you along the way. That's <laughs> yeah. that's sort of the uh, what we're in that business. Yeah, it's kind of like when you, you you stack things on top, you know, you're like a little kid and you're trying to reach the cookie jar on the side and you can't quite reach, so you stack up all these things to stand on and as you get what you want, it all falls it all falls down, it all falls apart. Uh, but it's alright because yeah. you've got the cookies. But that's you YouTube. got the cookie. We, we got the cookie. Me and Gage... 
We got the cookie. <laughs> I wouldn't say we got the cookie quite yet. <laughs> Listen, maybe Amanda's got a cookie, and we're uh, we're underneath, but we're just we just grabbed onto her foot as like as as everything fell. <laughs> we we analogy. might not have the cookie yet. Um, we got the but crumbs. we're certainly using people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, we're learning how to get there. <laughs> we're learning how to manipulate and like. Yeah, it's it's great. It's, it's great. a fun profession we decided to go with. <laughs> so Brody and I met in the Nerd City Discord, and Brody and Nerd seemed pretty tight at the time. And like that. Yeah, like two peas in a bad. And they're like, and Nerd recommended uh, Brody to me, and he's like, oh, he has a fun YouTube channel, and uh. he has uh, some good editing skills. And I'm like, oh, cool, I can talk to this guy. And he turned out to be a really cool dude. Mr. Brody over here uh. is just chill AF. You know That's what I'm cute. saying? He says, oh, this guy, this guy edits videos, and Gage says, I can use him. <laughs> <laughs> I can get the cookie. <laughs> I can get that cookie. <laughs> Not quite, Gage. Not quite. It's... No, 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 no. It's uh, I, I like that little community in that uh, Nerd City Discord. Uh, there's there's some really good people in there. Yeah, I and some cool, yeah, cool Brody there. is definitely one of them. Amanda is definitely one of them. And we're all just trying to make as well. I don't I don't want to speak for everyone, but for me personally, I am making uh, content that I want to make in order to educate and entertain people. And I think some people in that Discord do a really good job of that same exact goal. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, uh, I, I feel bad that I'm, I'm not as active in there as I used to be, but I've met some fantastic people in there, like uh, a little person called Parker. I met Parker in there. Parker's um, great. Love him. Parker's Love great. him to death. Yeah, He's on um, my Twitch streams. I'm streaming on Twitch now, twitch.tv slash Gage Agna. <laughs> yeah, I always want to come and join Go in. on. Who, who else have you met? Yeah, yeah. Um, and whilst Gage is talking about that, twitch.tv slash knockoutwolf with a zero in the wolf because I someone else took knockout wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I always want to see you stream, but it's like 3 a.m. for me. I, I find it weird that it says, I can see it says 12 p.m. on, on your, your clock in your room. And I'm like, but it's 8 p.m. What's that all about? <laughs> I'm in the past. You have a very forward thinking mind mm -hmm. compared to my eight primitive brain. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, yeah, that's definitely. why I'm using you, Brody, for your <laughs> superior knowledge. Yeah, so met met some real cool people in in that, and uh, in fact, I, I um I met Nerd through Elvis's Discord because uh, of um I th it was something really weird, like uh, someone realized that Elvis's um patrons in the um in the Discord had some mod. Uh, so, some mod privileges so he just started banning people and then um, and I think me and Nerd sort of took to uh, trolling the guy a little bit and um, and then I, I got an invite to the elusive Nerd City Discord where I met the wonderful Gage the rest is history <laughs> the rest is history you appeared in one of my videos you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna appear in this one and then I'm never gonna see you again yeah I I think one of the first times um we I, I sort of first talked to you properly was like I'm making this video I think it was a 500 subscriber special which is stupid it was just stupid. I think it was a 1000 subscriber special was it cuz I I remember doing a 500 sub and nerd was like why are you doing a 500 sub that's not even like a, a milestone <laughs> might have been <laughs> and i just remember uh trying to get all these people to to send me videos of them being like yo congrats on five hundred thousand or like five thousand and then they'll be like oh it's 500 oh that's awkward and uh and gage's wonderful face popped up and i went who the hell is this guy hey knockout off this is famous youtuber me um happy happy 500 subs okay Maybe if your name didn't suck so much, people would actually subscribe to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. No, I, I just like helping people with their videos, man. Uh, if you want me to help with your video and you kind of know me, I will consider it. Uh, not a definite yes, but no. I'll consider. <laughs> yeah, he, he'll, he'll open the DM. And you'll forever see a little blue tick that says he's seen it, but you'll never know his answer. As I grow older, that's kind of how I respect... Um, creators and people a little bit more uh when they just respond no thank you as opposed to ah, 
eh, maybe or like yeah. eh, we're we're gonna we'll see about that or just the dreaded scene. That always means I don't I, I don't want to say no because it's a definite no. But I'll just say maybe just to keep your hopes up. That's what that means usually, isn't it? So I think when people. Yeah. Or it's when people just don't reply at all, and uh, that that's what sucks with emails. Because I'm I'm in a band as well, and you know you're trying to book gigs and things like that. Oh, you're in a band. What band? Oh, uh, the Bee Gees. I don't know if you heard of us. Talking it out on the American talk show. We're currently trying to stay alive. That's a good one. I'm in a band called The Losing Score. <laughs> <laughs> I often uh, get emails uh, ignored, and the thing is with emails, you can't see if people have opened them. And uh, you just assume right. they read it and went, no, you know, you just assume that. But you can't do that with Twitter. It's like if they, if they, you can see that they've opened it and you're like, oh, they definitely said no, which kind of sucks. Kind of breaks your heart a little bit. It's 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 what it is. What? <gasps> what can you say? <laughs> I don't know. What can you say? That wasn't even a burp. That was just like a scream. Just because the burp there. wouldn't come out. That's fair enough. Sometimes you got to scream when the guy <laughs> you can't burp. So yeah, talk a little bit more about sort of your music. Um, what sort of creative influences do you have on the music? Um, why, I, I don't want to phrase it like, why are you leaning into music? But let, yeah, what got you interested in music? Uh, I've been into music my, my whole life. Like, because um, it's kind of hard to put a label on our band because we're sort of a, a bit of a hybrid between like, it's not fully fledged emo music and it's not like fully fledged pop punk music but it's somewhere in the middle it's it's got loud drums and distorted guitars and punchy bass and you know it's it, it's 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 just sort of fast and fun stuff for the most part and um and occasionally there's that song where if you see in the band live they go okay guys we had fun tonight but we're just going to slow it down for a minute there's, there's, you got to have songs like that uh, but i've always sort of been into music like that growing up like when i was younger um my parents listened to things like foo fighters um, I got some more sort of classic rock um, influences from my mum listening to like ACDC and, and things like that. Um, so I've always listened to that type of music and I always liked it. And then growing up, I got into bands like Blink-182. I was a huge Blink fan in, in, in school. Uh, Green Day, uh, Michael Gromance, who I'm, I'm heartbroken about because I finally got tickets to see and they had to cancel oh, it. Oh, no. It's okay. It, it, it's okay. They're doing it next year. But it was just the, it's just like a whole another year. Another year. Um, yeah, so, I, I, you know, I, I, like, just played with friends in various, like, rubbish little school bands uh, and uh, as we were growing up. And then I met my friend Jack, who we started drumming with. And, uh, and then when we met the elusive big Cal Mack in, in college, and we were like, what, what instrument do you play? He said drums. And we're like, okay, well, we already had a drummer, so do you, you want to learn bass? And he was like, okay. And then we, like, forced him to play a gig with us, like, two weeks later. And here we are, like five years later oh wow i didn't know it was that long it's been a while it's uh 20 2015 i started college and that's when we met cal and it, it was late 2015 like september 2015 sort of time so almost almost five years since um we met him but uh yeah here we are and we released um our, our, our debut ep back in december 2018 and we're we're currently working on on getting the second ep finished which has been very weird in this this whole lockdown scenario but it's it's been good we've managed to it's what it's happened it's worked <laughs> that's great uh do you have like a release window for that uh i don't want to put any pressure on you of course but god i don't know um september 3rd at like um 7 41 p.m i don't know just i'm just throwing that out there hey that's my birthday september 3rd September 3rd, 3rd, 4.30 p.m. That's my exact birthday. I only wow. have 60 seconds to celebrate. In that case, we're going to move it to a different day gauge. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> no, it's, it's probably going to be around the August time. We're going to shoot for August time. Just uh, pretend to know how to do PR because, like I said, you send a lot of emails and people go, no. And so here we are, taking <laughs> it in our own hands. you got to take things in your own hands. Sometimes. And uh, just going back to the video... What are some of your more creative influences on video making? No, it's a, it's a big one. I mean, his his editing is fantastic, and and I think seeing some of his videos was one of the 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 kicks I had to to download Premiere and learn it and just just have something more fun visually going on. And uh, even now, after what's it been like three years since I, I started using Premiere, I I couldn't match what what Nerd does. He, he's fantastic, and he uses things like After Effects. And um, since the lockdown started, 
I was like, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a, a Skillshare account. I'm gonna get my two months free uh, trial. I, I think it's been about six weeks into it, and I haven't watched a single class yet. Oh. That's, that's just that's just how <laughs> <laughs> I, I I knew it happened, but. Um, but yeah, that, that's one thing I want to do is, is sort of uh, dive into After Effects as well. But yeah, Nerd it was definitely a big one for, for Premiere. Um, I think one I found out after is Captain Disillusion, who is fantastic. Oh, yeah. And I don't think, I feel like I could be like locked away like a hermit in like a, in a house with like eight monitors nothing in this room but like eight monitors and all this like it's super big pc and everything and i still don't think i could do what captain disillusion does it's fantastic it's so good so good you i don't think you'll find anything on youtube that's as high quality as his content honestly he also reminds me of you gauge a little How bit so? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know about too many more i mean you know you, you see people do do things in videos and you're like, oh that's cool you know i like some video essays and um one video I did that I was quite fond of was a video about the game Cuphead, and uh, mm-hmm. I, I started like a brief thing where I would f- take a game and see how it was doing six months into its release window. Because I feel like six months is like long enough for people to be like, "Oh yeah, it's been out for quite a while now," but also like enough time for it to maybe have had this huge hype at the start and then died down, and like hardly anyone's playing it now. Uh, so right. I was, I was yeah. doing this video, yeah, and um, and. I was watching a Mr. T Lexify video. He's a zombies YouTuber, but he is he should not be limited to that. He is one of the funniest people on the internet. And um he, some people will probably find him really annoying, but I love him. And um he he made this thing about what's how he made this this Fortnite edit or something where he had loads of things changing like the, the text changing and all these things moving. And as much as it took him ages to do, he really liked how it looked. So I was like, I'm, I'm going to try something like that." And it, I I just made this really cool intro, which I really loved. And um, I made a similar one for one I made about um, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. So if you want to check those videos out, they're kind of dated now, but uh, they got some some cool little things in that I, I guess could be um, influenced by people like Mr. Lexify and Nerdsy and stuff. So there you go. That's awesome, man. There you go. I'm happy for you. I think you're one of the rising stars on this platform. I'm uh, eager to see where you're going. Thanks, Gage. Yeah. I'm, I've got Speaking to say of where you're going. Oh, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? Oh no! <laughs> cut, cut that! Cut that! Out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cutting that out. You know that. Oh um, no! We love Gage. I love Gage. There we go. There you heard it here, folks. Um, so yeah, what are your, some of your creative plans for the future? This last month, I've started streaming again, which has taken up quite a bit of, of my my time. But I'm enjoying doing that, and I want to sort of start developing that more with my video editing skills so have more kind of uh cool transitions and things like that and make it more of like a production rather than me just going okay i'm live and i'm playing a video game and you can talk and i talk back sort of thing i want to be more of a production um but i i feel like that's taken up a bit bit more of my time than uh that i'd usually spend on youtube so i'm gonna try and Use but kind of manage that time a little bit more so I can upload. I'm 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 aiming for like two uploads a month at the moment because it's it's been it's been a couple of months since my last video, but I sort of want a balance between having these videos where I talk about a topic and when we look at information and things like that. You know, a bit more lighthearted and fun, like I do for people like Elvis the Alien, and um and 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 Boy in a Band. But then I also want to do these sort of retrospectives on games and things like that because I have a huge passion for games and I I like these kind of story uh sorry i like these uh video essay sort of things and i I sort of want to find a middle ground in that so people don't just go i saw your retrospective thing so i'm gonna subscribe and then i upload a video of my face when i'm talking about something they're like ew who's who's (laughs) this guy ew what Ah, yeah ah. so i even with a video game though please (laughs) yeah well this is this isn't crash bandicoot but like even um with those, I like to have sections where I'm talking and like this because I want people to know it's me, just in case I do something in the future. I like to have a bit of variation. I I, I definitely don't have, um, I don't think I have my branding and things kind of set out as much as I want yet. I want to I want to find more of a, a consistent sort of style for me. Uh, but I definitely think through editing for for different people for like the last eighteen months. I've got uh, ideas on what makes a good 
brand and and how you can can keep your video content kind of varied whilst also keeping the same sort of style that people recognize you for so that's kind of what i'm aiming for that's awesome and once again what is your twitch channel (laughs) it's twitch.tv slash knockout wolf with zero in the o of wolf because i couldn't get knockout wolf because someone took it brody Thank you so much for coming on to Mildly Familiar. You're very welcome, Gage. I've loved this. It's been fun. This has been enjoyable. That's what all my guests say, and they're like shocked. They're like, "Yeah, I had fun. It was <laughs> weird." Yeah, so I, I sort of like hoping it would just be over in like five minutes, but here we are, like twenty five minutes later, and it, it was it was okay. I think it was fine. <laughs> it was mildly fine. It was, yeah, yeah. I mean, I hope I hope it cuts <laughs> most of it out. In all honesty, but it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you cut like a good chunk out. But <laughs> other than that, I think we have a solid five minutes. In yeah, there. something like that. Something like that. It'll be like the episode of uh, South Park where um, where they they edit chefs' lines to be like, "Hello, children!" Like <laughs> it'll just be me saying all these different things. Brody, are, uh, do you fantastic. have anything to say right now? Is is this a bit? Gage, mildly familiar. is it's great. Wow, Brody, that was really interesting. I really like that opinion that you have on uh, the state of that sort of thing. That's alarming. Brody, what are your plugs? Uh, I'm, I'm on Twitter with uh, with Brody Cunt Skate. I'm on YouTube with Knockout Wolf. I'm on Twitch with Knockout Wolf. I'm on SoundCloud. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just, just the various, but you know, just, just if you jump on my Twitter, chances are I'm probably going to be promoting my YouTube and Twitch there. And if you jump on my YouTube, you betcha I'm going to be promoting my other things there. That's the type of person I am. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> That's the type of person I am. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much, Brody. Uh, I am now a little more familiar with Brody, the knockout wolf. Thank you. Thank you, Gage. I would like to say yeah. the same thing, but the only thing I, I, I've I found out in, in the last half an hour or so is that Gage is using me to get the cookie from the counter. Get that cookie, son! Thanks for watching, and thanks to Brody for being my guest today. Give him some love, show some love to Knockout Wolf. He's a great guy. And thank you to my patrons, A Nurchin, Reynolds H., and Super Swim Team 7. Those guys are great, and they're also very, very patient with me. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and gauge your interest is next.